there's new evidence that that bag of chips or frozen dinner you may be heating up right now will put you in an early grave. A team of international researchers looked at the results of dozens of studies done over the last three years on about 10 million people. And they determined that ultra processed foods are raising the risk of physical and mental illness. Here's what you need to know. They're the foods we crave. The grab and goes, the cereal bars, sports drinks and microwavable meals. Researchers have now linked these ultra processed foods to more than 30 health conditions. It concerns me a lot only because this is stuff that I have in my every day. Crystal Washington recently lost more than 130 pounds and is very careful about what she eats. We showed her the list of ultra processed foods. Prepackaged meats, fish and vegetables. That is very shocking to me. Ultra processed foods account for up to 58% of the total daily energy intake in the United States, according to the latest research. It also associates these foods with about a 50% increase in the risk of death from cardiovascular disease and about a 50% higher risk of anxiety and other mental disorders. When we're not eating really good quality, nutritious food. We don't feel as good and that can affect us mentally. Tracy Condor, the campus dietitian at Old Dominion University, warns eating foods with added sugar, salt and other flavors often leads to overconsumption, which can lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes. It's some of the stuff that is convenient. That's the problem. It's all the convenient stuff that's in here, like the prepackaged stuff, the prepackaged this, easy to, quick to easy eat things. Busy people like our executive producer struggle to find the time and energy to cook every day. Condor says you don't need to. I always use the concept of cook once, eat twice. So I'm going to use that leftover chicken on top of a salad the next night or turn it into a quesadilla. Her other advice, make small snack swaps like plain yogurt instead of flavored, and read labels. The smaller, the better for the foods and your overall health. O'Connor also challenges her family to consider cooking that doesn't take as long as you might think. You can roast some vegetables, boil pasta, broil some chicken, often faster than you can go get takeout. I put a link to the list of ultra-processed foods and the new research on Wavy.com.